behind I'm Chris suspended. Jones. So I'm in the commentary box. It's Silverstone. It's James in the championship, but he's on pole. It's the light of the lights are the way we go. That my flag. James Lee's down there to turn one, Paul kind of hits second on the floor, so the other Clifford, the big red dog is in third. Yeah, brilliant, so what I'm jacking. It's a man wide, uh, Jack, there's a slogan by Clan, I think that is in the background. James keeps the lead for the first few turns, Paul second, Cliffy third, that's nasty, this is. Fourth is Nano Williams of Ritson. The field, oh, the Ferrari, is that Jack Gooding? It is, he's going side by side with James, my teammate, not James, Jake. Oh, my game's lagging, this is so funny. Let's go with James, and my game ever works. Here we go then, Paul. Can he get a run for the old turn one? He's right in the slip stream of that Red Bull. There's a four second in there as well. They're going to go side by side. Paul McGinnis running the outside. Can he make a move? Oh, he's done it, Paul McGinnis. The bubbly move of the season. Paul McGinnis with an absolute wonder move on James. And Paul McGuinness leads the British Grand Prix, possibly overtaking the season. But James is going to get the slip team, he's going to come right back at the man for the score bride. Got right no the pace. Cliffy right up behind us waiting for an accident. There's Jake and O'Williams going side by side as well in the background. What can James do? Can he hold it? He can. This is very good racing from the front three. Cliffy just waiting for an accident. Let's just let the session, that could be a safety car or BSC, but James takes the lead back of the Grand Prix. Paul might lose it to the Force India as well. Off oh, Cliffy, and he's going to go around the outside. Can Paul hold it? The truck extending there from the Force India, but he's going to try and hold it around the outside. But Paul oh, holds second. Very clean racing from the front three. Cliffy was just hanging back, waiting for an accident. They're going to go back at it. Paul's going to have to go defensive. Paul's got deep. Cliffy does the switch back, and Cliffy's into second. And Paul is dropping now like a stone from the end of this race. Fights as he joins, and there's also Ritson right up behind Paul now. Here we go then, it's Paul, Ritson and Jake. Jake's up the inside of Ritson, can he get the move done for both? He locks the front leg, Ritson's holding it, it's then going to turn into the inside. What could Jake do in the Mercedes? He is the only Mercedes racing. It's a good run, but it's not enough. Ritson getting the, the slip seat off Paul McGuinness, going in again for the old turn one, Jake. All over the back of Ritson, he's going to go for the inside. This could be another fabulous move, indeed it is. Ritson has lost a place to the Mercedes, and it's demoted the fifth, and he's gone wide. Jack Gooden might get a run then through Magnets and Beckett. He has, he's got past. No, he hasn't, that's Paul. Paul's wide. Paul McGuinness has gone down to fifth. He's having a abysmal race. Jack Gooden, Sean, and Jack Pickman are right up behind him. There's going to be four of them in at the end of the hangar straight. What's Sean going to do? He's going to try and go on the outside of that man up. He can't pull it off, Paul was wide. Gonna affect his, it's going to affect his exit. Deep's fifth. He's got to stay focused. He's got to find his way back up this field. Oh, Hickman and Sean are inside by side of the final corner. Can he hold it? Oh, this side by side. Mike Noon behind as well. This is destined to be a crack into turn one. Sean leaves space. And that Hickman. Get seven place off Sean. But Mike Noon and Sean are now going at it. It's a battle for eight. He's going to have the inside. Can the Clara make the move on the mana? Jack Pearson right behind this. Mike has made the move on Sean. From Wellington Street, not the longest. He's going to go he's running outside of Sean. Can't make it move. He's going to try again, maybe he can't get the run on. There's a total loss up behind there. It's Chris Johnson and Matthew taking up the rear off the, off the field. Yeah, we're starting to get a bit spread out now. James and Cluffy. Oh, it's yeah, Paul off, but um, it's Paul pulls off. Pulls off again, but we're going to step on the front too because this is going to be for the lead off the Grand Prix. DRS is enabled. James goes wide a bit. DRS open on the back of that Mercedes power force India. This is going for the inside or outside. James goes defensive. Round the outside goes Cluffy. Can he make the move for the lead of the race? He tries to switch back. Is there enough room? Indeed there is. But James holds it at the end of the hand. Oh, Jack's kidding the back of me. Let's go for the move. The two of the clan is have crashed at the back. Oh, we're going to stick with this though. Cluffy over the back of James as he start lap four. Oh, bit of lag. We're going to go back to the front row because James hasn't made that perfect. Cliffy has 
gained a lot throughout it. Now this could be his moment. He is closer than he has ever been than the hangar straight. TRS is open. He's climbing through the gears. He's going to go through the inside this time with ADS and finally Cliffy takes the lead of the British Grand Prix in that course in there. James can no longer hold fast and will they come in this lap? In DDS, they go far. Cluffy and James are coming in there and so are Jake and Ritson. Ritson managed to get past, Jack Gooding is coming in as well. Let's stay with the pit stops there. It's a battle between Red Bull and Force India. There's other drivers so people might get held. Oh, uh, Sean's ruined my outlap. There Sean we go. Collins. Cluffy is in. James is in. Mediums on for both of them, and James is jumping into India. All the way. No holding the Williams up. No holding the Williams up. And done. Oh. Just that could really help me. I was battling with those two. But you third as it stands for now. He's in the slip team. He's going to go for the inside and rips in later on the brakes. He's cutting grass. Jack's going to just swift. That's a lovely defending move there from Jack. He's trying to hold safe. But Ritz is still going to have that inside. They're getting very close. But Jack just holds on for six for now. And now it's a Jack Pearson. And also it's Mike Noon on the, on the end of this. Puffy slowly catching James, but not quick enough. Jack Gooding's got Ritz in all over the back of him yet again. This time he is going to go for the inside. Ritz in. Can he make the move? He can. Ritz in. Takes fifth of Jack Gooding. Got the slipstream. He's going to go for the outside this time, which will then turn to the inside. He's not late enough on the brakes, but he's done it. He's held it. He's now got the inside. Cliffy takes the original lead of this Grand Prix, and he will take the lead once we're talking pit. James, it's an amazing run back over there, and takes back second place. Flying for the old turn one. Cliffy's pushing James down there. I'm not sure what wing is running, but not enough. They all nearly take that one out. DSC now will be there. Cliffy's had to back out, and we're hearing sources down in the pit lane that Corrin Russell will be pitting, which will give James the lead back in this Grand Prix. Ritson and Jack are still going at it then. Mike Moon has dropped off a bit now. I don't know if he made a mistake or not. Ah, uh, yeah, I went wide. Mike Moon went wide then. Is he going to fall into the clutches of the manor? And the other Oh, Ritson's round. Oh, there's a spinning. There's a spinning. Ritson's spinning. They must make contact at the end of the hangar straight. They're keeping it very clean. There's really no crashes yet, but now he's been close enough now to possibly make the move at the end of the hangar straight. Cluffy, he's then going to go for the inside on James. He's going to make the move this time. He's going to have the inside. Hold it tight. Watch for the cut by. Cluffy, he's done it. He takes the lead on James. Oh, bit of lag here. Moving whacked into the pit lane. But James just keeps the lead of the race. And that is some very skilled oh, driving from the Irishman. Someone off. Someone off in the back end, but Cliffy. Jake is round for Mercedes. Looks like he has got, but yeah, he's got grass all over his tyres. He's lost a lot of time to fourth place. Cliffy is pushing James. Is he backing up on purpose? Because he is top of the driver's championship, he knows he's got pace, but he's been hounded by Cliffy in that post India. Here he goes then. Is he going to, he's going to go for the outside? Then turn to the inside. Can he make the move on the bang wheel? James throws his hands up in the air. Say, what are you doing? What's where you're going? But Cliffy has finally made the move to the leader of this Grand Prix. But James has got another excellent run. And he looks to take the lead back. They're going to go side by side. Oh, yeah, the well turn done. One. You're going to have balls after doing this. They're going to go side by side. Can they make any contact, leaving each other enough room? Very clean racing between the two. But Cluffy holds the lead for now. He finally takes the lead and keeps it. But now James will have DRS. Can he do what Cluffy couldn't do a number of laps ago? He's going to go straight back up the inside, and Cluffy. We'll lose. Yeah, what are you doing? What you've just done there is taken both of us out because you're an idiot. Well done. And the McLaren into my contact. Jack Hickman, he just turns in. Oh, Jack Hickman. Right to safety guard is the point. Through all turn one they go. Can they both keep it clean? Can Cluffy close the gap? James seems to have had a, a bit of a dodgy exit. Cluffy is right up the back of the Irishman. Through Maggots and Beckett's they go then. Can Cluffy make the move on the Irishman of James? 
knock the cleanest through there for his DRS. Will Lopin on the back of the post, India. Here he goes, he's in the slipstream. He's got the DRS. Can Cluffy make the move at the end of the hangar straight? On the end of the final lap, he's going to go round the outside. Keep it clean. Don't make contact. Cluffy round the outside. Can he do it? He's made the move on James. James has gone a bit wide. This is the moment. Down into the chicane. Can he hold James off? James is then going to turn into the outside. James will get the final corner. The bang wheel to make contact and James will turn the final corner to hold on to the British Grand Prix. That was remarkable. Good race, boys. Go ahead, check on my god. It's an uphill to turn one. So break as late as you dare. And his lights out and away we go, Richard from Paul's face and Cluffy getting away well to post India. Can he try and make a move on one of the rebels in the McLaren staying up the inside of the Mike Noon and he's taking third. He's got a poor exit and Cluffy might just hang on and he does. But James is going to run, run the outside with it to the inside all oh, the bang wheels. James, oh lag there. James was so close to, to being wiped out oh. there. By the scouter of the chair and there's oh, in the background. Matthew is out. Is that going to be a safety car or a virtual safety car? <laughs> Cluffy has it moved. Let's just say, it's down to that. It's Jake and he's made the move. He's ghosting. There's three of them. McLaren inside a Renault, inside a Mercedes. It's just sexual stuff going down the street. Oh, nice wing you're running there. <laughs> Jack Pearson flying past Lexi, who must be running so much down for. Jake, can he defend Jack Hickman and Jack Pearson? Don't turn Jack me. Gooding it. Stop Jack not. Gooding as well. So many jacks. Lexi trying to hold on to eighth place from Jack Pearson. Can Jack keep it in the McLaren? Virtual safety car is deployed. Whoa, oh for God's sake, yes. It's a trap. Yeah, well done, Hick. It's Kingman again, brilliant. Jack, put the mediums on, put the mediums on, you'll get to the end easily. So under virtual safety car, Jack, Jack Gooding's pitted as well. Jack Gooding's pitted one. as well. Paul McGinnis getting in a run on Jack Kickman then. This is the battle for Sexy Goals. Tony on James. Tony on James is going to go out and stay. Tony James is going to go up the inside of James. Tony in the post India can't make a move. He's going to push James a bit wide. James has been very good at defending, he was in Silverstone and he's the move. Tony is up to second and set sight on Ritzy for the race win. It's a very good pit stop from McLaren. Nice and clean, no errors. When is he going to rejoin? That's got me. Jack Gooding is passed. Tony is passed. There's Tony. Flexi could also get passed in the Renault. Flexi is passed. But Mike has got fresh, soft tyres. Oh, might have hell, off which means this could be an almighty snap for the win of this Grand Prix if Ritson stays out and continues to lose time. So, so he's got a bit, oh my god, my, the banging wheel, he pushed Flexi wide, will he give the position back or will he keep six and continue on the charge? He is still 1.5 ahead, is he going to come in? Ritson stays out, James pits. Let's stay with James then, see where he comes out. So we get to a slow down. Jake is in as well for Mercedes. Here we go. Super soft coming off for James. Soft going on. Very clean from Red Bull. Where is he going to rejoin? This is the important question. What you try and deal with on the course India? Is it gonna work? Jack Pudding is past. Jack Pudding is past. Jack Gooding is passed. Tony is passed. Mike Noon is not. So Jack Gooding has put himself in contention of winning this USA Grand Prix. Indeed he does. He's gone seven laps on the Super Song. Ritson pulls into the pit at half race distance. He's going to need a miracle to come out the head of Jack Gooding and James. He's in. Paul is in as well, I think. I think I see the Ferrari pit crew. Here we go, they're turning the final corner now. This is going to be close. Ritson was going to be going. He's been jumped. Jack Gooding leads this Grand Prix. And where's James? There is James and Mike. Tony is passed. Ritson and James. 
Apparently come out ahead, or squeezing things wide. Gonna set by side for the S's. Hands up on the stretch of a James has passed. Let's in. Mike of Jack going with race one away. Tony all over the back. Off that getting already. Oh, it's going to be a little round. It's closing up. Flexi is lying. I'm going to have to stay with Tony. I think all the back of that getting. Flexi retired. That could be a safety car. On the work to safety car again. He's going to go for the inside of Jack Gooding. He hasn't got quite the such speed, but the DRS is going to aid him along. He's lost out in Silverstone. And he, but he's taking the lead here in America. And that looks like Paul McGuinness up ahead. It's a lapped car. And Paul pulls to the inside. He's going defensive. He is a lap down. And he's still in the way. Tony will be screaming blue flag. He will be getting Charlie on the on this. Paul still in the way. This is helping Jack. This has got to get looked at. Still in the way of the race leader. And Jack, James, Ritson and Mike are all getting pulled into this. Is he going to have the way yet? Paul is backing off. He's finally moved off the circuit to let them pass. But that has cost Tony a lot of time. We've all got DRS on Tony. It's going to be hard to pass. Tom McGinnis has retired as well. James goes for it. He's going for the inside of James. The second place in Jack Gooding. And it's not going to work. Jack will be running out of grip. As he has been on these tyres since lap one. And there's a dog in the commentary box. James goes up the inside to take second place off Jack. But he's going to fight back. He's not going to oh, the championship leader in the wall. Jack Gooding, has he just put James into the wall? That will no doubt get looked at. Alright, so let's go down to third place and on the final step of the podium, Mike Noon. Can we get your thoughts on this race? Um, yeah, it's not too bad, I suppose. Um, would have liked a bit higher than third, but at the moment, Tony and uh, Ritson just seem a little bit too quick. So we've just got to keep Jake at bay and uh, let's try, try our best. Okay, once Mike is finished, let's go back to the front. Tony having to defend from the stance of Ritson. Does he go for the move this time? He can break later as it is an uphill turn one. Can Ritson close the gap in through here? He's got the dirty air, but he's also got the slipstream. Tony's gone wide. Tony's gone wide. This is going to give Ritson a run into the final corner. He's got to go round the outside. It is so cool. Not by the wheels, though. Again, very clean from Tony. But now he's right up. Put it into Rick Mix. The slipped him in the DRS. Tony goes defensive into turn one. Rexon's going to go round the outside. This is the moment for Rexon to retake the lead of the Grand Prix. Tony cut the first turn just a bit and holds the lead for now. He's got slip speed. Now the DRS is open. Throttle all the way to the ground. DRS open. Slip speed. Rex Mix. Is he going to go up the inside now? He is. Rexon's going for it. Tony leaves in the room. They're going side by side. They make contact. All the stuff. This is where Big Mike Noon is to play. They're not they're just touching up. Oh, the crash! Tony's round. Tony is round. And that might have just gifted. Ritson the win here in America. Turning the final corners now. Round the penultimate one. It's Ritson 97 coming up to the final corner. The checkered flag is waving for him. Ritson wins in America. Controversial win as well. Second place will be the McLaren. No, I've got penalties. No, but it's nine seconds off the break. But that I got a three-second one on the last lap. Suck it off America.